What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. The Flyers lost today 4-3 to in regulation against the Pittsburgh Penguins, losing 2 of 3 in this three-game trip to Pittsburgh, which really does suck. I thought that the Flyers easily could have won two, if not all three of them. Sidney Crosby wasn't supposed to play all week, and he plays game two and three. We lose game one. It was, it was not a very good series for the Flyers. We got Faraby back today, and, you know, shoot the puck. Shoot it. Just shoot the puck. If you shoot the puck, good things happen. We pass up on way too many open opportunities at the net. And it, it, it happens a lot. Now, the last couple of games, the Flyers have gotten a lot better at shooting at the net. You have, you know, 37, 37, 38 shots on net in, every, in the last couple games. Well, today, you had 22 shots on net. That's not going to get it done, especially against a Pittsburgh team that does shoot a lot and that is very aggressive. There was a lot of, it, it was a typical Flyers-Penguins hockey game today. There was some big hits, you know, there was fights every now and then. Very aggressive hockey game. And you know, that's what you love to see as a hockey fan. But as a Flyers fan, Flyers winning comes first. And, you know, we didn't get the W today. And we're now tied for, you know, we're still in that playoff position, but we're tied with Pittsburgh now instead of being up, what was, four four points on them? So now you got a, a tough game tomorrow against Washington. Luckily, there is fans at home, so I hope that does give the Flyers a little bit of the edge in that, you know, in that argument to where it's a tough game. But the Capitals are a very good hockey team. The Islanders, the Bruins, we can't beat all season long. Um, it, It's going to be a tough one tomorrow, for sure. Hopefully the fans can, you know, give them that little boost of energy. Unfortunately, I am not going to be there tomorrow. But on Tuesday against the Buffalo Sabres, I hope to be in that crowd. I hope to be there. Um, Tickets aren't too bad for that. But tomorrow's game, they, they skyrocketed, so I'm not going to be able to go to that one. But Tuesday, hopefully, I can get in that stadium. Now back to this game. The Flyers had an early early one nothing lead. A 2-0 breakaway led to a Travis Konechny goal. Popped the lid off the bottle. Hit the back of the net. Water goes everywhere. You love to see that. Scott Lawton with the helper. Um... But then two power play goals by the Penguins put them up two, not two to one. And special teams this entire series has been a little rough. Uh, you know, we were one for four on the power play, two for three on the penalty kill this this game alone. And we had plenty of opportunities. And we just couldn't capitalize. Joel Faraby got thrown around. He was getting thrown into the boards. I, I don't even remember the guy's name. But he was in the box all day today. As soon as I see it, I'll, I'll know who I'm talking about. Pedersen. In the box all day. Three three minors. And we only capitalized on one of them. And it was at the very end of it. You got to be better on the, on the special teams, on the power play, the penalty kill. Or you're not going to win games. I mean... You're just not. And Elliot today wasn't, you know, he wasn't the sharpest in the net. He let one in that easily could have been saved by Aston Reese. Shoots it from the side of the net and it squeaks under his pad to go in. Makes it 3-3. Three to three. And then James McCann in the third period scores. Makes it 4-3 and the Flyers cannot score again. And, you know, you had opportunities in this one. But they passed up too many goal, too many shots, and not enough. You know, you didn't get enough out of the out of the special uh, special teams in this one, in all series that is. So you know you got to be better. Hayes scored. Uh, Gossespear had a rip on the power play. He scored, but 
there were some guys today that were just non-existent. Claude Giroux, non-existent in this one. Um, and, and that really sucks because he did have a very good game last game. Three points. And, you know, when you lose two games to the Penguins, you're not gonna, you know, that hurts. You could be up four points on them right now. And instead, you're not. You're tied with them. So that that's that could come back to bite you later on in the season. And as I said, we play Washington tomorrow. Washington's a good squad. We know that. They are a very good squad. But, you know, I, I easily thought this game could have been, you know, a Flyers W. Ivan Provorov passes up a shot within the first 15 seconds of the game. He passes it down low trying to get a shot or trying to get an open teammate. Shoot the puck, dude. He came flying in from the blue line. Has what I thought was going to be a goal, and he passed it up. You know, I like that the guys pass, try to get, you know, the, the better shot, the better opportunity. But sometimes you just got to shoot at it. Shoot at the net. The guys that do that the most, Konechny, Patrick, Voracek, Hayes, some of the defensemen, just shoot. If you're open, shoot it. I don't care if it doesn't go in. Obviously, not every goal is going to go. Not every shot is going to go in. If that was the case, it would be 30 to 31 every game. And the goalies wouldn't have jobs. But there needs to be more. I, I thought the Flyers did very good, you know, the last two games of being more energetic, being, you know, just more offensive, shooting at the net. You know, as I said earlier, 38, 37, 37 shots on net the last couple of games. And then th this one, you have 22 shots. They need to be more consistent, this team, definitely. And I think a lot of Flyers fans are starting to realize that, that they have been a little bit inconsistent this season. But, you know, what are we still? We're still like 12 six we're still 12 six and three on the season and you know some of those games we weren't even a little bit healthy you had that whole week where we were missing guys you had 12 days off some guys had 17 you know it, it was it was a mess but you have your squad back you play Washington tomorrow you have the Sabres on Tuesday and then two more games against Washington it's not an easy task and it's, it's going to be hard. We know that. Hopefully this team can, can, you know, at least split. They need to beat Buffalo, if anything. They need, you know, they, they need to win a lot. But they have to win against Buffalo, 100%. It does help that you are back at home. You do have fans for the next two games. But fans can only take you so far, you know. Uh... I need some more, I need more out of Limblom, out of Patrick, out of Voracek, you know, scoring-wise. Giroux looked good. Um, the fourth line guys, you know, you know what you're going to get. The defenders, they're not good. You had Nate Prosser up today. Uh, you didn't have Myers. You didn't have Gustafson. So, I think that definitely before the deadline, you're going to need to make a move for a defenseman at the very least, if not more than one. But we'll see what happens. You know, the Flyers lose this one 4-3 to three against Pittsburgh, losing two of the last three games to the Penguins. Makes their record 12-6-3 and three on the season with like 27 points, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. 27 or 29 points on the season. Um... We play Washington tomorrow in the Wells Fargo Center with fans for the first time in almost a year. So hopefully we can get that W. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new. And I am out. Peace. Go Flyers, baby.